and then it's the finale. Yeah. Out of my way. <laughs> Be gone. He's like, bitch, say what? <laughs> he goes with a fist. How cocky. All right, we're back with some more of the last story. In the last part, we took on Zepha and Sesh... Zepha and Zesha, the Garak twins, and they said, Lord Zangarak is not here. They said, honey, he ain't here. Go home. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. And then they poofed out. Yep. I don't know why. They remind me of um, Marge's sisters. That's funny. <laughs> From the Simpsons. This is the Garax outsider. Another outsider. But I can't sense anything from this one. And just it's like it's our outsider, uh, they decided to entice it by just stabbing at it. Something's <laughs> coming. It's in a raid. But it gets asleep. Wakey, wakey! Like that alarm you were looking for. Oh my god. Wake up, bitch! <laughs> Get the fuck up, bitch! <laughs> I was like, that's my new alarm clock. I don't know if I should make that my alarm clock on my new quest to be nicer to myself, but I think it's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, so this outsider also has its sentinel beast. We're going to have to quell its rage. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it just snatched them. Yep. <laughs> it's kidnapping. We're going to take you to a different battle arena. Why do I picture if it was like Dagrin instead of Zale? If someone was like, they've been kidnapped, he'd be like, I'm a man, I was man napped. Like, <laughs> like shut up with your booty shorts. Listen, we haven't had those booty shorts for almost 20 parts now. Actually, <laughs> Dagrin has been MIA for almost 10 he parts has. now. He has. He hasn't been around for a, for a hot minute. He's up to something. Yeah. And the beast just one shot Calista. Yes, he did. Even though I countered and silenced his beams. All right, so right now it's just Zale, Kalissa, and the Sentinel Beast Atar. Just like before, just slash out its heels. And as you can see, if I keep moving, it's just gonna he's keep not, flipping yeah. around. He's not gonna get you. Yeah. And eventually it'll be like, all right, time to try a different strategy. I summon lightning, and it hurts like a mother father. Like a mother father. Yes, it does. This boss hits hard. Yeah. And there's multiple phases, too. So we're going to start by defeat. Oh, that didn't work because we we're at a cutscene. All right, there's our team. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> Marania just swore. Yep, they're just like, oh, that, alrighty then. They all just Listen, look like when you threaten the planet, Marania gets real pissed. <laughs> She's like, for the sake of the planet, let's gut these motherfuckers. Whoa, right? whoa, T rating, T rating, Marania. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, I'm just really passionate. Really passionate about the planet. All right, here we go. Acceleration mode. Everybody, together now. Oh, dear God. Nope, nope, that didn't work. I'm dead. I thought I could counter, and it was wrong. I was wrong. I can see! <laughs> I was wrong. There it is. That's the one I want. So it looks like he has two different projectiles. One that you have to dodge, and the other one you have to deflect. I think that's what's going on. Okay. Either that or like your timing has to be spot on. If you're just a second off, you're gonna get that hit. Hmm. Oh, okay, so Callista has a new special called the Ancient Summon. But we're gonna hold off on that for a while, because there's a little secret to this boss battle. 
it's best to use Ancient Summon near the end of this boss's health meter. And I'll tell you why when we actually perform the spell. For now, we just have to survive. Doing what little damage we can. Chipping away at the beast's health. I would say that one did decent, but like he just has such a large health meter. Yeah. So I'm trying this again. Staying under it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm like that uh, laser pointer. Yeah. <laughs> Keep moving. Confuse the uh, AI. And eventually we shall be victorious. Because, yeah, it's only like two levels higher than us, so it's not like we're yeah. that under leveled. Uh, for a circle. There we go. Long term silence. That's what I want. Now I don't have to deflect. I can just defuse Marania's forest circles. And that works the same as silence. So see, now look at his health. Yeah. In just those sh short few moments, we are able to whittle him down. If we can just get him a little bit lower, we're going to show you the ancient summon. Oh my gosh. I just backflipped over its Wasn't it, um, I'm pretty sure it was Child of Light. There was one where it's like once the beast got so far down in health, you had to like do a final blow. But if you did it too early, it would like heal itself. Oh shit. Was that Child of Light or was that Paper Mario? I think it was Paper Mario. Okay. It was the Phoenix. Oh yeah. Because like you had to deplete its health. If you got it just a sliver, it would regenerate. So here we go. Ancient Summon. We summon the other Sentinel Beast. And it's on our side. So now it's a kaiju battle, bitches. Noise. It's very dualistic. <laughs> so unlike Bayonetta, you're not controlling the monster. It's just a little cutscene, and basically what's going to happen, and the reason why I said wait until its health is mostly depleted, is because you are freezing its wings, and now they're shattered. Oh. So the Sentinel Beast can no longer be airborne. But that also means it's going to be twice as aggressive on the ground. But if you have its health low enough, it won't be aggressive for that long. Right. Whereas if you do it as soon as you get the ability, you have the entire rest of the fight and the rest of the boss's health meter to take it down while it's super aggressive. Yeah. All right, so now it goes away. I'm tapping out. Now let's finish this fight. See, we just have that little bit of sliver, but watch. Well, yeah, he just had, like, four appendages cut off. I'd be pretty pissed off, too. Like, he's just very quick, and he's going to spam lightning and all that fun stuff. But there we go. Oh, almost. Too soon. There we're gonna go. I don't know why, but the game allows us to suplex a giant sentinel beast. Eh. <laughs> why not? And there we go. That takes care of the sentinel beast Atar. Let's return to Lazarus. It's a train in the distance. Just you wait. Nothing can be helped. Meanwhile, what? What? remember, Geralt's still in jail. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. But no. So, I, uh, find I don't know 
if I feel the same way as when I first played this, but I felt right up to the end, the story starts really like chopping together and being like very convenient to where it's just like, hey, we got to like wrap this up and get together to where like up until this point, it starts to go. It went at like a natural pace and events were happening naturally. Now, like they're forcing it because they're getting to the end. So, like, Jeral is free, he meets Zangarak, you can probably guess what happens next. Because we only have a couple more episodes, and then it's the finale. Yeah. Out of my way. Be gone. He's like, bitch, say what? <laughs> he goes with a fist. How cocky. I gotta say, at least this time, he actually went running towards the battle. Whereas early on, he ran from the battle. <laughs> Let me look at your face. <laughs> I will give you your chance for vengeance. What did you say? I bestow upon you this enchanted sword of evil. <laughs> evil! So there we go. If he wasn't bad news before, now Jeral is officially one of the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Jeral's a threat? He's got a uh, club jacket now. <laughs> Jeral received a new power after meeting with Zangarak. Something to help satisfy the abhorrence he had. And sinister blade An earthly power. Mm-hmm. power. Also, in these last couple chapters, there's a lot of the narrator basically being like, all this stuff we couldn't animate and put into the game, so I'll just narrate all these yeah. events that happened. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Which I think is fine. Like Again, like, with when you're making games, especially like as it, a team and stuff, you have deadlines. Yeah. It does what it's supposed to do. It gets you from point A to point B. Whereas the first, I was the first time I played this, I was just like, "Oh wow, we're really wrapping this up." But I don't know. There's also like playthroughs where they overstay their welcome. So I'm kind of glad that it's just like, eh, it seems a little hurried, but at least we're cutting to the chase. Yeah. My complaint is it just seems very convenient. And you know what? It might be. Like you said, deadlines happen. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They're like, oh, we uh, we bit off a little bit more than we could chew. (laughs) It's a very ambitious game. Like it has so many mechanics with like the combat and stuff like that and how the battles work and gameplay. But yeah, chapter 38 Callista. is extremely short. It's the ocean level. Yep. So basically, all we got to do is swim around and call out for Callista. Okay. This is one of those immersive experiences. Okay. Which, like, I... I don't know. I'm always on the fence. It's just like, why couldn't this just be a cutscene and I go into the next bit? Why am I just moving forward? Right. There's a lot of games that do this where, like, you're moving forward and the characters are talking. Yeah. But nothing's really happening. I feel like it's a sneaky way to disguise loading. Yeah. But this game does have loading. So I'm just like, I I don't know. And there's a lot of games, especially from this generation and, like, onwards that do this. It's not just a last story thing. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, modern games where you're going to see just, like, they're walking through hallways or they're just prolonging uh, an event that's literally just, like, dialogue and walking. Right. So, basically, Zale's all alone. Oh, got to keep going. And all I'm doing is pushing forward. 
Like there is no sense of direction. There's no secrets. There's the no one encounters. Thing, one thing that I, I'm not super crazy about with the animation in here is like the water droplets on the camera. Mm-hmm. You, you uh, mentioned that early on when it was raining. Yeah, and I'm like, I just don't think that that's... I think it's just a stylistic choice. Yeah. Okay. Now, Part of because you've version. been guessing a lot of what happens next with this game, there's a boat in the distance. Hmm. Now, based, of the, based off the information we learned on this episode, what do you think that boat entails? I think it's going to be the bad guys. Okay. So this is a Garak ship. This the one you were looking for? Yes, without a doubt. Dagger's going to be on the boat. <laughs> Lady Luck has smiled on me. The heavens have not yet forsaken me. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Recognize that? Oh, yeah. So this is what I mean by, like, convenient. No sooner does Jeral get the weapon to take on Zale that he finds Zale. Yeah. And we're about to have our battle with Jeral. Well, I mean, again, like, there's also... This is from Zale's point of view. So, mm -hmm. like, who gives a shit what Jeral is doing from, like, the time he gets the sword to finding Zale? That makes sense. Like, this isn't Game of Thrones where, like, you have every to walk single to every single character in detail bit needs to be explained Until season explored, seven yeah. when you suddenly teleport. So I, I don't think that that's necessarily, like, a bad type of convenience. Okay. But, like, this is all Chapter 38 is. You wade water... You find Jeral. Well, Jeral finds you. You fight him. On to the next chapter. Yeah. I feel like there was a lot more planned, but they were just like, they had yeah, to we got to get wrap going. It up. We got to wrap this up. Now to switch to a positive, this is a really fun fight. Hmm. Tricky because like it is just a one-on-one -on -one battle. But also like just from his appearance, you can tell like he's oh, being corrupted. Yeah. He's a. Uh, he's got some shit going on. <laughs> I've seen some shit. <laughs> you know, Zangurak was looking for this woman. <laughs> Drow, I'll kill you. It's all her fault. She's always looked at me with such scorn. Always, 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 I don't know. Or wooden. Yeah, that's what I thought it was like a wooden texture. I'm a real boy! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a real boy anymore. It's morphin' time! Okay, so Jeral's lost his mind. Yes. He's very quick, and as the battle goes on, he's more careless with his swipes, which can be very deadly if you're not careful. Yeah. Because he's just swinging like a madman. Well, because he's, like, not trained. No. But he also has, like, dark magic, which yeah. can make him a legit threat. But also, it's kind of like, I think the term is retard strength, to where it's just like, Still, like, spazzing out can be deadly if yeah. you're not careful. Oh, and he also does, like, acrobatics, like, flipping behind you and stabbing you. So that's all oh. fun. I like that he laughs, though. Mm-hmm. Every time he takes you down, he'll let out a maniacal cackle. Ouch. And just like the battle with General Ashtar, there are quick time events in between the sword fight. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. It was just a thing. I don't know the game that like started it, but like from the mid 2000s to like 2020, maybe even modern day, there's just quick to, oops, quick time events to break up the action, I guess. Yeah. 
I don't know. It just is like, I feel like it breaks up the flow. It just becomes Simon Says or bop it. Yeah. Twist it. Pull it. You beat the boss. Ow! Yeah. Remember that TikTok we saw of like, bop it. And oh, it like with the cat. Squeezes the cat. Yeah. Pull it. Pulls its little leg. 100 points. The cat was like, I am not going to stand for this. I'm not doing that good. You spaz. See, what you're supposed to do is do a lot of counters. Because that's okay. your most powerful move, is like you defend right at the moment where he's going to strike, and then you do a counterattack, which just drops him like a doll. Yeah. And then it moves on to the next phase. I wonder if this would even be effective. Might as well try. We got two lives left. <laughs> well, he's healing, too. Oh, shit, he is. That's right. That's his stab. If he gets me with that stab, he's able to replenish some health. Oh, wow. All right. We don't want to make a habit out of that. There we go. Counter. Come on again. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, draw. Trick, nope, nope. Everyone's making fun of me. <laughs> See what I mean? He's like going into like full tantrum mode. Yeah. Almost there. I shall release you from your torment, you psychopath. Come on. There it is. Almost. Come on, buddy. There's another one-on-one -on -one fight towards the end of the game that I do much better on. <laughs> For this fight, I'm just like, yeah, I'll take what it is. <laughs> He's down. Okay. Oh, Jeral. If only you could have been a better character. Suzanne's are gonna kill him. Yep. Womp womp. He when just wanted to be happy. Rose. Mutiny! <laughs> Our Capitan is dead! I can't protect anyone. Not a single person. Now's not the time for self-pity, bro. <laughs> I can't protect anyone. All right, so we also have that uh, draw sword that we can equip now, if we want. Okay. I don't want, Yeah. but we have it. I'm kind of satisfied with the general sword for the end of the game. I feel like it'd be pretty cool if, like, since it's technically, like, an evil sword, like, mm -hmm. if you use it, like, if you equip it, it, like you take damage when you use it oh so like it does twice as much damage to enemies but it drains your health yes something like that okay so think of like black star soul eater yeah yeah that's a good comparison <laughs> yeah he's after the outsider in lazarus castle we have to stop him from getting both and there we go we took care of Jural. we're back with the team now we can progress the story yeah. <laughs> I feel like Sakaguchi was just like, we gotta do something with this Jeral character. How about a boss fight? Yeah, but Zale's way over in the Garak base, and Jeral's in prison. 
hang on, I got it. He'll randomly bust out of prison, meet Zangarak, and teleport out to sea where they're all meet. <laughs> That'll work. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Oh, well. Sometimes you gotta make compromises with your stories. Yep, <laughs> it's fantasy. Exactly. Look, up ahead. I'm sure there's a lot of games that do it, but, like, this is just the one that really, like, sticks out the most to me. You've seen it before, Zale? Yeah. It's that tiger again. Oh, yeah. The tiger we've seen three times now? By this point, I forgot it was a thing. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about it, too. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. That uh, magical tiger. See, my dumb ass thought it was more important because it was, like, on, like, the cover art. It oh. was. It, there was, like, this artwork with, like, Callista in her wedding gown laying with the tiger and stuff yeah. like that. And I'm just like, ah, I've seen her early on in the tiger. They must be very important characters. Not really. <laughs> The tiger's just like, I'm just showing you where you need to go. Yep. It's like the dog in Anastasia, which we watched recently. Yeah. And, like, it was much better than I remember. Oh, yeah. Like, Quest for Camelot is a movie it's that I'm just like, it has flaws. It does have positives, though. It's enjoyable. Yeah. Whereas Anastasia, I was just like, no, no, this is a really good movie. Yeah. And the only complaint I had was, like, the dog is literally, let's just get this girl from one plot point to the next. Yeah. <laughs> Starting with just like, hey, give me a sign. And the dog's just like, that's my role. I'm cute. And yeah. I basically progress the plot. Which, again, what like, I feel like that's fine. Like, that's a fine thing to do. You know, it gets you to point from point A to point B. Like, yeah. I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with that, especially whenever it comes to something like a children's movie. Oh, um, wow. So the Emperor was cursed, and I just removed it. So maybe it was one of those, hey, it depletes your stats while you use it kind of thing. Huh. You the more something? you know. All right, so I'm going to upgrade my gear, and in the next episode, we're going to... Calista. The beginning of the end. It yes, of, it's all wrapping up. We're going to the up. last part of the, of the last, last story. story. The last chunk of the last story. We still got a couple episodes left, but, like, yeah. this is technically, like, the first part of the final area. Okay. Alrighty. We'll see you then. Toodles.